In this video, I'm going to describe some new features that we've added to the ADS-2000, specifically the blue backlit display and the gas sampling hose. But before I get into all that, I want to show you what you should expect to find in the box when you first get your ADS-2000. Let's start with the Unilim Bane circuit. That's included there. A pretty standard oxygen hose. A to and from vaporizer hoses. These are silicone vaporizer hoses. A mask adapter, which will allow you to mask your patient down. We normally offer uh, 14 feet of scavenger tubing. For this video, I'm going to be using a, a shorter piece of tubing with an F air canister just for display purposes. We offer a test lung which allows you to practice before you use the uh, ADS on an actual patient. We have the gas sampling hose which I will get into more detail later and of course a power supply. This is how you connect the back of the ADS 2000. Oxygen goes here to the vaporizer goes here. From the vaporizer goes here. If you'll notice each port is a different size you'll never have to worry about confusing these connections. Here we have the scavenger out port. For this example I have an F-air canister which I will connect later. Connecting the front of the ADS is just as simple. I'm going to start with the gas sampling hose. We added this hose to better register the breath of small animals and to increase the overall precision when ventilating and delivering anesthesia. That connection goes right here. Simple twist on. It connects to the elbow. that. Next we have the reading circuit. It's a Unilim Bain circuit. The inspiratory goes on the top. Expiratory goes on the bottom. That connects like this. This would ordinarily connect to your breathing circuit, uh, to your endotracheal tube, but in this particular case we're going to use a test lung just for demonstration purposes. Connecting the rest of the ADS is just as simple. Here we have the to and from vaporizer hoses. That connects here. That connects here simple as that. Oxygen connects here. We have just done everything we need to do to set up the ADS-2000. You've seen us connect all of the connections in the back, all the connections in the front. Now, when you first turn the machine on, it goes to a self-diagnostic test. You cover your finger over the breathing circuit and turn it on. It is now conducting a self-test. Uh, Once it approves that, to, oh, it's telling us we have to switch our button to set. It automatically defaults to 20 kilograms. That's our starting point every time we turn the machine on. Now, we connect our intubated patient. In this case, our intubated patient is a test lung. So we connect our intubated patient or test lung. Now we have to set the weight. And we do this by just pushing a button up here, either the up or down. In this case, we're going to push the up. We're going to go to 24 kilograms for this patient and turn it on. We are now ventilating and delivering anesthesia to our patient. 
If you need to change any of the breathing parameters, you can do that manually at any time. You have the flow rate, breaths per minute, and peak inspiratory pressure, which can be changed any time during the surgery. We have a breathe button, which allows you to manually deliver a breath any time. And we also have a fill and hold button, which will fill and hold the lung to the peak inspiratory pressure you have set and maintain it until you let go of the button. That concludes our introduction of the ADS-2000. Again, keep in mind the changes that we uh, came up with are the backlit blue display and the gas sampling hose. The ADS-1000 is the first microprocessor-controlled anesthesia delivery system designed specifically for veterinary use. The ADS is compact, efficient, and user-friendly, and allows the veterinarian to focus on the surgical procedure while the ADS safely controls ventilation and anesthesia delivery. In each ADS package you will find the ADS-1000 unit, the ADS instruction manual, which should be read carefully. The ADS connecting hoses. A medical grade electrical cord. 12 feet of scavenger tubing. The ADS mask adapter, which must be used for masking procedures and a disposable pediatric breathing circuit. Begin by placing the ADS on a flat, steady surface. The back of the ADS has four ports which need to be connected prior to use. Begin with a green oxygen hose. Screw one end of the hose into the oxygen in port. The fittings are universal oxygen fittings and you may use your own oxygen hose if you wish. Connect the other end of the oxygen hose to your oxygen source. It is important that the oxygen be regulated to a pressure of 50 pounds per square inch. Now connect the white vaporizer hose to the to vaporizer port. Connect the other end of the hose to your vaporizer. Now connect the purple from the vaporizer hose to the ADS. The other end is then connected to the from vaporizer outlet. The ADS may be used with most halothane or isofluorine precision vaporizers. Connect one end of the scavenger tubing to the ADS scavenger out port. Connect the other end to a passive or an active scavenger system. Connect one end of the electrical cord into the ADS. Plug the other end into an electrical outlet. When all of the connections are complete, the back of the ADS will look like this. Connect the breathing circuit to the breathing circuit ports at the front of the ADS. You may use your own breathing circuit if you wish. Cover the end of the breathing circuit with your thumb and push the power switch to the up position. The ADS will run a complete self-diagnostic test. If successful, the display will read 20 kilograms. If unsuccessful, follow the instructions on the display. You are now ready to use the ADS-1000. Based on your patient's weight, the ADS will automatically adjust and display the flow rate, the breaths per minute, the peak inspiratory pressure measured in centimeters of water, 
and the amount of inspiratory effort required by the patient to initiate a breath. All of these parameters can be manually adjusted by the operator. As you enter the patient's weight, the displayed breathing parameters will automatically change. For a four kilogram patient, the ADS adjusts to a flow rate of 10 liters, eight breaths per minute, a peak inspiratory pressure of 15 centimeters of water, and an inspiratory effort of minus two centimeters of water. If you use the ADS for mask induction, push the mask switch to the up position. The display will read mask mode on. Follow the masking instructions in your manual. When complete, switch the mask mode off. After the patient has been intubated, connect the breathing circuit to the intubation tube. Make sure that the cuff is properly inflated and that there are no leaks. Push the set run switch to run. The ADS is now delivering measured amounts of oxygen and anesthetic to your patient. As each breath is completed, the top line of the display is updated with new information. The left three digits will display the minute volume per kilogram. Minute volume per kilogram is a tidal volume multiplied by breaths per minute divided by the patient's body weight in kilograms. The ADS computer measures a minute volume with each breath. Next to a blood gas analysis, minute volume is the next best indicator of proper ventilation. The middle of the display shows a cursor which moves when the actual breath is taking place. The cursor will move from zero to the peak inspiratory pressure which the ADS is set for. The right three digits indicate the inspiratory time for the given breath. If inspiration requires more than three seconds, the ADS will sound an alarm. This usually indicates a leak in the cuff or improper intubation. To correct the problem, refer to your instruction manual. These three ventilation parameters will be updated by the ADS computer with each breath. To change the parameters, change the ADS settings. For example, minute volume can be changed by increasing or decreasing the breaths per minute or peak inspiratory pressure. Notice that the background of the ADS display has now changed from light to dark. This indicates that the patient is initiating the breathing cycle. When the cursor is dark on a light background, this indicates that the ADS is controlling the ventilation. As the ADS delivers each breath to the proper peak inspiratory pressure, you will notice the patient's chest rise and fall in a steady fashion. This is also an indication of proper ventilation. When using the ADS, the surgeon can work with the confidence that the patient is always breathing. Cardiac functions and other vital signs should always be monitored during any surgical procedure whether using the ADS or any conventional anesthesia system. The ADS is pre-programmed for a wide variety of patients.
In the normal mode, flow rate can be adjusted from a minimum of two liters per minute to a maximum of 60 liters per minute. Note that the ADS does not allow a continuous flow rate, but allows a flow only when the patient is actually breathing. The flow is automatically shut off when the peak inspiratory pressure is reached. Breaths per minute can be adjusted from a minimum of one breath to a maximum of 99 breaths per minute. Peak inspiratory pressure can be adjusted from a minimum of five centimeters of water to a maximum of 35 centimeters of water. When the assist is off, the ADS completely controls ventilation. When the assist is on, the patient may initiate a breath. Assist may be set from negative 0.3, which is the most sensitive setting, to negative 6.0 centimeters of water, which requires a greater effort on the part of the patient. The volume knob controls the alarm volume of the ADS. If you hear the alarm, switch the ADS from run to set and check all of your connections. For further information on the ADS-1000, please contact Angler Engineering Corporation, area code 305-688-8581 or 1-800-445-8581. The ADS is also available through your local veterinary supplier.